Peter serves as an incident commander for his industrial facilities hazmat team. He just received a call regarding a potential lead exposure near the chemical storage building. He does not have any information regarding the airborne contamination nor the source of the contaminant. The type of respirator he and his team should use when entering the area is A. Half mask air purifying respirator with high efficiency filters B. Full fixed piece air purifying respirator with high efficiency filters C. Supplied air respirator with full face piece and positive pressure mode or D. Self-contained breathing apparatus with full face piece operated in positive pressure mode. Pause the video and give yourself 5 minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. If you ever need to respond to any type of environmental exposure, there's three things you need to keep in mind. First of all, you need to get as much information on the contaminant, length and area of exposure, as well as any other information you can obtain at the time. Secondly, use any available safety data sheets, emergency guides and regulations to help you determine how to best respond to the incident and the needed personal protective equipment that you need. For example, OSHA clearly states respirator requirements for several contaminants and activities in Title 29 of the Code of Federal Regulations. Lastly, ensure that all potentially affected persons, besides qualified personnel, is out of the area of exposure. For this incident, your key piece of information is that the airborne concentration is unknown. Because of this fact, you have to use the highest level of PPE to protect yourself against any hazards. For respirators, the most protective of this group will be answer D. Something that is helpful to have is the NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards as well as the Emergency Response Guide, better known as the ERG. If you're a plant engineer, you should be familiar with these resources and the value that they can offer. Join us for episode 17 of 52 PE Exam Problems in 52 Weeks.